I'm Suparna Datta and I'm from Fairfax County, Virginia. When the pandemic hit, that's when we found out things that our children were learning or not learning. A few of us parents banded together because we thought that, you know, educational excellence and merit is all that matters, not the color of your skin. And so we formed the coalition for TJ and we gave each, each other support and we reached out across the aisle, local government, state government, anyone who would who would uh, lend us their support. And, and one of them was the then candidate Glenn Youngkin and he completely supported us and I supported him. And um, uh, I, I was a very vocal parent advocate. And um, when he asked me to be on the Board of Education, I, uh, I was thrilled. To an audience as inclusive as our Virginia is, you cannot reference the Declaration of Independence and Constitution as remarkable documents without also acknowledging that they contain fundamental flaws of enshrining slavery and limiting the protections that they provided for only to white property men. I, I just, I can't, I'm not comfortable with that language. I'm not comfortable with the language of, of uh, centralized government planning in the form of socialism or communist political systems is incompatible with democracy. I, I, would, I would concede on communism, but there are plenty of governments that call themselves socialist democratic governments. Uh, so, you know, what is socialism compatible with democracy? That would be a great debate to have in a, um, a, a 12th grade government uh, mm -hmm. civics class. Uh, um, the Declaration and the Constitution, I think it's, they're remarkable documents. I, I don't, do not believe the Declaration and Constitution enshrined slavery, um, nor did they limit protections to white property men. As far as the uh, socialism or communist, I think socialism is just about as bad as, as communism. Socialism is like the nanny state, which predominates in so many parts of the world. It's, it co-ops the important decisions belonging to families and individuals. I, I come from a country which used to be more socialistic now than, you know, then than it is now, but it's, it is, it creates dearth, dependency and depression. Somebody had to jump in and, and challenge that viewpoint that, you know, America is great. America's founding documents are great. And I do believe that socialism um, is very destructive. Coming from a country which was founded as a socialist country, you know, and it continues to be in India. Uh, I, I, I just disagree. I think that giving people their their freedoms in, in every way makes for a better um, better citizenry and being allowed to to uh, to decide things for ourselves rather than rather than you know the government you know America won't be great if if it uh, doesn't you know is, isn't allowed to keep its independent uh, streak uh, and freedom of thought I'm very disappointed to not get, to not be confirmed. I thought people celebrated diversity, whether it's diversity of thought, diversity of viewpoint, or diversity of, you know, any of the many characteristics. I am uh, shocked. I, I thought such, a, you know, tactics were, uh, you know, sort of reserved for, not for America, other countries. Uh, only in America can a common person be heard, raise his voice and be heard and be part of the process. And uh, I will continue to fight uh, for education for our children.